But first, on this channel, as we do every morning, we like to give you a random Bible chapter. That's right, I'm going to read you a whole Bible chapter here. Random Bible chapter. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ephesians at two. Ephesians 2. Here we go. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins, in which you formerly walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them we too all formerly lived in the lust of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Uh, I don't know why they, they just threw that in at you. And raised up with us, uh, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that in the ages to come he might show the surpassing riches of his grace and kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Amen. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that he would walk in them. Therefore, remember that, you, that formerly you, the Gentiles in the flesh who were called uncircumcision by the so-called circumcision, which is performed in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at, the time, at that time separate from Christ, excluded from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off, have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who made both groups into one and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall by abolishing his flesh, the en enmity, which is the law of commandments contained in ordinances, so that in himself he might make the two into one new man, thus establishing peace, and might reconcile them both in one body to God through the cross, by it having put to death the en enmity and he came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near for through him we both have our access in one spirit to the father so then you are no longer strangers and aliens but you are fellow citizens with the saints and are of God's household having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone in whom the whole building, being fitted together, is growing into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are being built together into a dwelling of God in the Spirit. Amen. Beautiful. Access one spirit to the Father. Isn't that beautiful? It's just his priesthood. We, we, we have access to the Spirit. One spirit to the Father. Amen. I thank you guys for joining me this morning on the Random Bible chapter, Ephesians 2.